Hey, what's up? This is Hunter Nelson, uh, president of Tortoise and Hare Software. Tortoise and Hare Software is a Jacksonville-based digital marketing and web development company. And today we're going to be talking about why blogging is important for your business. Uh, so we do a lot of inbound search engine-based uh, traffic generation here for companies at Tortoise and Hare Software. And recently moved one of my clients from uh, doing a bunch of PPC on Google Ads to starting to add some organic uh, traffic and lead gener generation mechanisms for them through a blog and had to answer a lot of questions on what the value of a blog is as part of that process and wanted to collect those down into my thoughts into a blog post and now today's video to help you um, understand what the value of a blog is for your business and how it can help so I'm gonna pop over here to you know our post real quick and just take a kind of walk through this um, real quick so you know you've probably been to a few competitor websites and seen that they have the obligatory blog at the top of the uh, navigation link maybe seen a few couple paragraph posts and um, you know just kind of an unimpassioned attempt at blogging uh, for the most part and um, you know you might think well what's really going on here um, and I'll just say for to start that blogging is definitely a long-term thing you have to be committed to doing it for a long uh, time horizon it's not something you start and you do for six months unless you're writing a lot of posts multiple times weekly thousand word posts um, you're not going to see results in six months um, it's something that will help you over a longer time horizon um, and over time will become one of your most cost-effective lead generation uh, tools most of the blog posts I write for instance get the majority of their traffic six months after their original published date rather than those first few weeks there's usually like an initial surge period of time goes by and then there's like a long tail of like traffic generation so um, you know you gotta you gotta give it time so don't start a blog unless you're committed to doing it um, for the long term but uh, once you do get started it's gonna generate a lot of benefits for you um, the first of those is that blogging is going to generate traffic um, and you may be thinking oh you know I get a lot of traffic from social media I get a lot of traffic from my PPC why do I need to add blogging into the mix um, well, I've looked at a lot of uh, sites for businesses that are larger, uh, more established, and if you look at their analytics, almost always uh, organic traffic is going to dwarf the other channels um, for an established website that has, you know, aged, high domain authority, and regular blog. Um, you know, that's because when you stop doing posting on social media, the posting stops generating traffic. When you stop advertising on PPC, your traffic goes down because there's no more you know inflow of that effort uh, you can stop blogging and over time your traffic will start to go down just because the site's not viewed as active anymore on Google but you'll still generate traffic for a long time horizon um, off of your posts assuming you've got some evergreen content on there um, so blogging over time will become your largest tra traffic generator to your website um, just a quick example here at Tortoise and Hare Software we looked at the traffic for the month previous prior to actually publishing this post uh, year over year and there have been a 600% increase uh, year over year in the month of February um, you know so traffic can grow, grow quickly um, I've been blogging here for about this will be the start of year three roughly um, so, and I fully expect it to grow like that again next year. Um, so, blogging generates traffic. Um, you know, these posts will rank for a variety of keywords. Um, as time goes by, they'll start to creep further up the rankings and rank for stuff that you weren't wasn't even the direct topic of the article, but um, still will bring people interested um, to your website. Um, so, moral of the story: blogging is a huge traffic generator. Um, blogging saves time selling and supporting um, so one thing I like to do is like kind of this situation where I had a client that 
um, was helping them move into the blogging world. I like to go and write posts that answer common questions or help people make decisions in the selling and supporting uh, process. And um, what this does is it really helps kind of shorten that sales cycle, uh, helps people move forward, feel more confident about working with you. Um, it demonstrates your expertise, you know, and it just overall is like a great sales tool. Um, I've never had like a you know formal sales background. I came into digital marketing from kind of the web development side. Um, but if I was ever running a sales team, I would definitely be making sure I was educating them on what the uh, facilitating blog posts can be rather than just saying oh you know customers go check out our blog because these can be great tools to help you with your sales process um, so blogging also helps build remarketing lists um, for those of you not familiar with remarketing you know when somebody visits my website they're captured on a like a little tag that's on the site and then I can show them an advertisement on Facebook, I can show them an advertisement on LinkedIn, I can show them a display advertisement um, from Google, uh, so it can be on any website or any platform that allows that retargeting feature. Um, so this is just kind of ties back into your blog generating traffic. Um, the, this traffic is how you build these remarketing lists and then give them targeted offers. Um, Blogging also helps build email lists, same sort of deal. If people like your content and they want to learn more, keep in touch with your company. Uh, blogging is a great way to start building those email lists. And email subscribers are usually longer sales cycle subscribers. Um, they're not ready to buy this instant, but they do want to buy in the future. And subscribing to the email list and finding out more information is a great way to kind of keep in touch with those people. Um, blogging qualifies prospects um, so feeding right back into the remarketing and the e email marketing um, when somebody lands on this post or a post on your blog you know that they're interested in blogging or you know that they're interested in IT services or you know whatever it is so what you can do with your blog posts and blogging in general is qualify prospects and make sure the traffic coming to your site is not just competitors and people looking for jobs because um, quite frankly a lot of like local searches or people like um, googling and looking at your product and service description pages are going to be competitors and people looking for work and stuff like that so those um, product and service description pages can bring in prospects and customers but a lot of times you're gonna fill those with traffic that's not exactly relevant um, that said people looking for an employment and competitors are rarely going to go and find and stumble across your blog um, and blog posts so usually you know when somebody's reached a blog post that they were interested in whatever the topic was that you were writing about so it's a lot better qualifying tool than just like your um, general business uh, services description pages um, so a couple examples in here was a uh, if you're selling luxury resort destination uh, packages, you can kind of qualify your audience by writing posts like top 10 most luxurious resort destinations versus writing something like top 10 most affordable uh, resort destinations. So, you know, one of the kind of uh, objections or concerns that I hear a lot about when getting started with digital marketing is like, yeah, we can bring in leads, but we want to bring in the right leads. And um, you do that through qualifying your prospects through your content. Uh, so if you're selling to people that are buying high ticket items, then you want to make sure that you're using words like um, luxurious, best, uh, top of the line, etc. And that brings in people who are searching for those sorts of products and services, and that's how you kind of qualify your audience. <coughs> um, okay, so blogging. Get some water here. Blogging gives you a chance to tell you tell a story about why your offer is different, how it will benefit the reader, um, and how it will make them feel. So, one of the examples I used in the post here um, is a I show like a product page for a Oway hair care product, um, and then I show a blog post of this kind of uh, Instagram influencer that had gone to the Bahamas and they had used some of the OA hair care products 
and then how it made them look and feel and like you know go about the island doing their enjoying their vacation and everything like that and that's just like adds a whole lot more color than just like uh you know the coldness that a product page can kind of show or the coldness that a service description page can show you know use your blog posts to tell a story to the customer and like help them understand how like oh this is how my pain was solved or this is how it made me feel better after purchase um you know so you use the blog posts to you know tell that story um and then kind of a pro tip here um you can use those stories and some of these blog posts and then import them onto your service description pages to help people again facilitate that sales process so i'll pop over here to um the search engine optimization service description page i have for tortoise and hair software and i just want to quickly show you at the bottom of this page i have a link to a blog post with the question is seo right for you um so and then i say check out our blog post discussing whether seo or ppc is right for you um, SEO or PPC a quick guide so this is a way that you can use those blog posts on your service description pages to kind of again help give them more information and facilitate the sales process um, and that helps showcase your expertise um, okay so just a couple more examples here um, you know, why is blogging important for your business? You can demonstrate your expertise. So I have a couple links here in the post. Um, and the post will be in the comments on social media or it will be below here on YouTube. So scroll down and look in the video description to uh, find the post link. You can come here and check it out and read it. Um, but you know, there's, you know, you can demonstrate your expertise with educational blog posts, how to's, case studies, industry insight type posts, and I just have a couple sample of those types of posts on the Tortoise and Hare software blog, so you can kind of get a feel on how you know to use each of those type of posts to generate traffic, bring in interested prospects, and then you can use those tools like remarketing and email list building to um, tell them more about how, what you can do to help them. Um, one more thing, blogging gives you something to post about on social media. So posting every day and uh, multiple times a day if you can is very effective for building brand awareness and generating leads. Um, but if you've ever done that much social media posting, you know that it can kind of get prone to a writer's block. Um, you know, you feel like you've said everything or you've read everything and people have said it. But you know, just because somebody else said it doesn't mean you can't say it. Um, but blog posts are a great way to give you something to post about on social media. Um, a lot of social media experts will take a single blog post and turn it into a year's worth of content. So you take a teeny little quote from the uh, article and then you repost it. Um, you repackage it, you kind of sell it different ways, um, and you can turn a single blog post into 12 to 48 um, you know, pieces of social media content. So with 260 business days a year, um, that can be a great way to fill up your social media calendar. Um, and uh, tools like Hootsuite and Buffer, those are great to help you kind of schedule those posts. So you can create a blog post and then in batch you can schedule, you know, a monthly post for the next uh, forward leading 12 months uh, to help kind of promote that content. Um, you can turn it into videos like this uh, so blogs are just a great way in general to feed other uh, digital marketing efforts for your business. Um, just some final thoughts. Blogging is a deferred return investment. So again, you have to stick with it. You have to do it over a longer time horizon. Make sure you've got, you're building an audience and that you're providing some value in your content and it's not just spammy promotional stuff. Um, you know, you can qualify your prospects with blogging. Um, you can feed your other digital marketing efforts and writing good quality blog posts is a lot like building small little pieces of real estate on the internet um, and it's one of those things that you can wake up one day and you've just got leads coming in off your blog all the time um, so there's no wrong 
I'll leave you with this last thought. There's no wrong way to start a blog. Just start writing, start publishing. You can always kind of circle back and optimize your blog and try and get more out of it later. Um, but for businesses that are wanting to maximize their returns and their time, uh, you might want to engage a firm like Tortoise and Hare Software to help you kind of get it set up for with SEO best practices um, from the get-go. Um, so if you're interested in getting some help with something like that, feel free to reach out and we'll get you set up. Um, so hope that you found this uh, video valuable and um, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, thanks for watching.